Hi, Abela David is my name. Welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform subtotal across multiple columns. Therefore, let's get started. We have this sample data set that span to 40 rows. And interestingly, this data is officially stored as an Excel table because we can see the table design contextually on top. Now, the caveat is that you can't perform subtotal based on the data that is officially formatted as an Excel table. The subtotal doesn't work with Excel tables. Now, let's try to check out, check out whether we can actually subtotal on the table or not. Now, to subtotal, we have these various columns order date all through to the six amount columns. Now, I want to perform the subtotal using the payment method in column B and the units, price, and the six amount in columns E, F, G, respectively. So the first thing I'm going to do is to sort the payment method column in ascending or descending order. Now, to sort the data, you can do that in multiple ways, but the fastest one for me is just right click and choose sort and a to Z or Z to A. So we have sorted the payment method. Next, let's go to the data type of the ribbon. Now to the far right of your screen, we have the outline group and then we have the subtotal. So you can actually see that the subtotal is not visible. It is grilled up because it doesn't work with Excel table. So what I'm going to do is to convert this data back to Excel range. So to do that, it's very simple. Just come to the table design contextual ribbon tab and under the tools group, click on convert to range. And Excel is going to ask you, are you sure you want to actually convert to a normal range? Because you can undo this command. So click on yes. Now this data is back to Excel range. Now let's go to the data tab once again and choose the outline. Now the subtotal is available to use. So click on that. And then we have the subtotal dialog box. Now at each change in, in this case, I'm going to choose the payment method drop down that we sorted. So I'm going to choose payment method. And since we are dealing with multiple columns, I want the subtotal to be added to price and the unit column. So you can say add subtotal to these three columns that I've checked. Now we have this replace current subtotals that is default checked. And of course, this summary below data. Now I'm going to click on OK. Now see what happens. Absolutely cool. So the data has been arranged so we have actually subtotal the data so you can see for all my faster pay payment method we can see that the total unit is three it's nine units and the price is the sub total of the price is twenty thousand seven seven five naira and the subtotal of the six amount is one million two five three thousand plus that's absolutely cool and then we can see the outline you know to the far left of the screen now officially we are in the third outline so when i click on the second outline of course we can see the total for each of the payment method and when i click on the first outline so we can see the total for the grand total generally so i'm going to click back on this three you can even come to the subtotal and now you can even click on this show details so or you can even click on the high details so it actually narrows this stuff down to two and when i click on high details it's narrowed it down to outline one now i want to show you one interesting thing so let me click on show detail twice so we are back to the outline three now we have this little button that you may not have seen or used before so i'm going to click on that okay before i click on that let me just scroll up to the up now i'm going to just apply italic i want to italicize this you know three selected you know cells now i'm not going to do that from the home tab i can actually do you know click on this but i actually want to do it from the outline advanced settings so click on this outline again and click on this option button and then we have this box probably you've never seen it before so i'm going to cl just click on automatic settings now the automatic setting is that it's going to apply outline it's going to italicize this selected cells or values so when i click on apply styles absolutely cool kind of like it has italicized the data for me and everything is looking fine so this is essentially how to perform subtotal across multiple columns in excel i hope you enjoyed this video if you do subscribe to this channel comment like and share thank you and bye for now Ciao.